President Trump could pay a visit to the North Korean border during his trip to East Asia. The president is scheduled to visit South Korea next month, while the itinerary has yet to be finalized. White House officials have reportedly analyzed a demilitarized zone between North and South Korea as a possible location for President Trump to address a dictatorship. The president is also said to be considering a visit to border islands off South Korea's coast, which were shelled by northern artillery in 2010. When America's Sonia Onotoa has won the issues, the president will address during his visit. President Trump is set to embark on a 12-day trip to Asia in an effort to rally North Korea's neighbors to confront Pyongyang's nuclear threats. The president will travel to Japan, South Korea, China, Vietnam, and the Philippines from November 3rd to the 14th. He will also make a stop in Hawaii for the first time as president. The White House issued a statement saying the president's engagements will strengthen the international resolve to confront the North Korean threat and ensure the complete, verifiable, irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, as he mentioned in his debut speech to the United Nations General Assembly. It is time for North Korea to realize that the denuclearization is its only acceptable future. President Trump will also focus on trade as he seeks to fulfill his promise of making better trade deals. We will negotiate fair bilateral trade deals that bring jobs and industry back onto American shores. Since taking office, the president has threatened to impose major tariffs against China and has pulled the U.S. out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade agreement. During his trip to Asia, President Trump is scheduled to attend two major economic gatherings where he will push his trade agenda. The White House stating the president will emphasize the importance of fair and reciprocal economic ties with America's trade partners. Sani Unutoa, One America News.